Hello and welcome to North Carmiley. This video is to be a bit more of an informational and update sort of video uh, where I'm going to roughly explain uh, how the layout is the way it is, uh, the current status of the layout, what I've managed to achieve in the time frame that I've had making this layout, and also the future uh, plans for this layout as well as uh, in a few months' time, this layout will cease to exist, uh, which is going to be sad, but also paving the way for a future layout. I'll explain this as we go. So North Carmiley, the actual layout in itself, was never intended to be a layout. The actual baseboard that was used to put, this, uh, put the track work on was actually designed more for storage more than anything as I needed space to get rid of all the rubbish that I had lying around the house that I couldn't really be bothered packing into boxes. So a very hastily made wooden framed table thing was made to put everything behind. Now once this had been completed the space on top was never utilized and the idea of going back to model trains was floating around my head, but just didn't really have the drive to do it. But after watching too much YouTube and things like that, I decided, well, what would be the harm in putting down some track and just seeing if my interest in the hobby from when I was a child was still there. So initially, the layout was only an L shape. It had like a terminus station on one side and then a small fiddle yard on the other side. But I felt like it just wasn't big enough. I couldn't get the enjoyment I wanted. So eventually on the far left side of the layout, a much longer section was added against the wall, which then became the new fiddle yard, expanding what was to be a detailed area um, much further. But again, the fact that I couldn't just turn the train on and let it go was a bit of a negative factor for me, so for quite a while, I never touched it. The track sat, a couple of trains were just there, or there gathering dust, but never really went anywhere. And it wasn't until I finally decided to put a lift out section in between the, the, the bottom of this U shape that I'd created, I then was able to get three tracks in the loop like you see in this video. And after that point happened, I decided, well, now I'm going to put the effort in. And it came with a lot of challenges. Because a lot of this baseboard was not designed to be a model layout, the track work is incredibly uneven. I've got, ra like, the track goes up and down around corners, which causes derailments, it causes all sorts of connection issues. And it's more of a thing that I've gotten used to, I've put like, shims under the tracks to try and keep it level but it still has some issues especially with my dapple interfret wagons that pretty much derail on every single corner as well as my a1 tornado which with its mark ones derails on every corner which is why you don't often see me running it so the idea was that with this layout i was just going to test everything i was going to try everything so, because I'd never really detailed a layout before, outside of the Hornby track mats and the, a few little buildings you could place here, there, and everywhere, I'd never really done detailing. So, doing things like ballasting, uh, the painting of the track work, static grass, that's it. I've never done it before. It's never been something I've done. I've never done these hillside formations. I've never done... Uh, these platform kits that you see that I've got with the North Carolina layout now. Um, none of this I've done before. So when I was watching these YouTube videos that give me the inspiration to get back into doing model trains, uh, I was watching videos, I think it was um, Everard Junction was one of them, Dean Park was one of them. And with their videos, they were like, oh, this is how we do X, Y, and Z. So I attempted these sort of little tutorial things that they were doing into my own layout. Now, obviously, they haven't come across as good as what theirs is, but that little insight of, oh, this is how it's done, and this is 
as you can see in the videos, just how it's come out on my end, it looks pretty good in my opinion. I like how it's come out. Obviously, it, it's still not at the standard I'm wanting it to be, but for that test phase that this layout is designed for, for me testing, doing all these things, I think, you know, I've, I'm quite happy with the results. There is a few niggling things where I see it and go, I wish I didn't do that. I wish it didn't turn out that way. It's a learning experience. I now know so that when I come to do this again in the future, I've got a better understanding on how to do the satagrass, on how to do the, the ballasting. Now, as for the future of the layout, now, I'm looking at moving house later this year. And the baseboard on this layout is not designed to be removable, not even close. And also, on top of that, since everything was just done for testing, I have no real plans to salvage any of this layout. Obviously, the items on it I will save for future use, so I'll probably remove all of the bushes that are on there, I'll remove... Uh, all the various bit of, bits of detail, maybe the, the lamps, uh, some of the fencing, some of the building types I've got on there, the trees. But the actual layout in itself isn't just going to get unscrewed, lifted out, and transported to my new home. It'll get completely remade. Now, whether or not North Carmiley will reappear on the new layout is highly unlikely. The new layout, when I come to do it, I've got some ideas, depending on how much space I'll have available to me, but it'll be a much it'll be the main station for the Carmiley City, that is the fictional place which is this is designed. But it won't reappear. At least I don't plan to. But never say never, you never know what'll happen. But what I will do is a demolition train will be running through this uh this line one day, very soon in the near future. As for where the layout is right now though, this is its current state. So as I was saying how a lot of the track was temporary, and you can still see a little bit of the previous attempt with a switchboard there at the fiddle yard, a lot of the track work is still technically pinned down with thumbtacks and things like that, but this is the fiddle yard I've got to work with. Now, I haven't got a great deal of track on the mainline side of things because I was originally planning this in a different way, but there is enough trains at least to go around. That's why I don't see many trains on the... Uh, on the northbound track, because there's only two tracks. Uh, this is the first area to have been detailed, so the far right-hand side of the layout, the more southern end of the layout. So you can see the hill in the background there that was done using expando foam, uh, various trees and all that type of things around that. So the area that took the longest was actually, I think, near the station with this uh, with the network rail yard that you can just see swinging around with my terrible camera work. Uh, Obviously, you've also got the uh, the parking area, main station building, uh, on the top of that uh, overpass there, with uh, just some cars that I found in a box. Now, the actual network rail yard itself makes very little sense in terms of what's actually in it, but I wanted to just fill that space with something that was a bit more of a um, railway-themed business as opposed to just another field. So that took a little bit of planning. And by planning, I mean just throwing things down and seeing what happens. As for the station itself, I used those um, those Pico uh, concrete platform uh, strips, which actually worked out quite nicely with the scale model scenery um, platform sheets that went on top. And the, I think the scale model scenery stuff has actually been pretty decent uh, for all the stuff I've used here. Um, definitely made things easier for me. Um, all the signage I've got uh, from eBay, uh, custom made, absolutely fantastic uh, little uh, kits there. I uh, can't remember the person who made them, but um, definitely be ordering more from them. Absolutely fantastic um, uh, quality there as well. But um, yeah, I think the station's come out a lot. I wish the station was bigger, but it, I'm doing with what I've got. Following along the, uh, the catenary there, as you can see, uh, one of the signals there, and there'll be another signal coming into view in a moment. Those are the uh, Three aspects from Train Tech, absolutely fantastic. Very minimal effort, work straight off the bat, and they change when the train goes past. Absolutely love them. Um, probably will get more of those when the time comes to the new for the new layout. Also got the cable trunking there, more scale model scenery stuff. Put some wires in there to 
make it look like stuff was going on. And uh, you can kind of see on the hillside there all the scatter and various trees. I've got trees from two different kits. Um, not happy with the ones that you're seeing now, but they, they did the job. A little bit of water there just passed um, that I just bought in bulk and just dumped it in. It cracked like crazy and I covered it a few times to try and hide it, but it did the job. A little bit of detail there in the corner just to fill that space. And finally, we've got uh, part of the heritage line there. Uh, this is the uh, the old line as it was that has now become the heritage line. You can see the old um, sort of northbound track there being overgrown with the abandoned uh, brake van there. And the farmer's field alongside with a whole lot of sheep and some Land Rovers that have obviously been moving them back and forward. But um, making the disused track was fun. I've got new ideas for next time to make them look a bit better. And that has been the update and sort of information dump on the North Kamali layout. I have a few more little bits of detail that I'm going to continue with, a bit more things from the box of spares. But that's it for the majority of the bulk of detail. I've got a few more engines and stock coming in eventually over time that's been pre-ordered. But I'll be making videos and posting videos of that uh, as they arrive. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And... Um, Hopefully see you around for the new layout when it comes in the future.